guys, um, that we've we've been getting some podcast topics. A lot of gun control stuff. A lot of like I'm literally reading. I'm literally reading. A they lot had of a gun- town hall tonight. Yeah. In what's pl- your what's your idea on gun control? Have we talked about gun control? They they had the craziest town hall on CNN tonight. Really? Yeah. It okay. Was, so it was insane. If you're if you're living under fucking rock, um, there's been an awful shooting. Right. Um, in Florida once in, again. In Parkland, yeah. Um, where uh, seventeen, yeah, seventeen or eighteen or nineteen, yeah, students were killed from this this I don't know nineteen twenty year old fucking moron. Yeah. And dude, I, I've awful. I've I've watched videos of this guy like. Um, just sitting at court. Have you seen those? Like it's fucking so weird. What's he look like? He, I mean, I know what he looks like, but what yeah, was he I mean, doing he in court? Just, I mean, he could look like a regular kid, and I'd say he looks like flip, a psychopath. Was he, he flipping out in court, or is he just no, look normal? No, he was quiet and he was grinning. You know, he's a fucking psycho. He's like the Joker from. He was grinning like what? I don't like want to say the, he's the Joker from Dark Knight because I don't want to give him that fucking that dopeness. I mean, he's a fucking piece of shit. Anyway, the the big argument now is gun control. Right. And everybody's always just like, everybody's, I feel like there's this whole argument when gun control comes out and it's like, we shouldn't be talking about gun control right now. We should be mourning victims, which is, I think is the most fucking bizarre. I think we've talked about this. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's very bizarre. So it is odd. When, when, when would be the time to talk about it? That's if exactly not now. the time to talk about it. Yeah. Like you, you wait two weeks. No one's talking about See it. See what anymore. Trump said today? He said he thinks teachers should be armed. I, I don't, I, I don't <laughs> agree with that. He just keeps saying that. Anyways, they, he, they had this. saying, let's sell more guns. He, okay, so, so here's, here's what I think about gun control. I think we've talked about it. And uh, keep in mind, I'm 21 years old, so I may not know a lot. Um, but I think, I think the main argument isn't let's take away all guns, right? Sure. Because that's not – I don't think that's fucking possible. It's, it's A, let's make guns 30 times harder to get. And B, let's like get rid of these like AR-15s and these automatic and like semiotic weapons. Like, sure. There's no need for them. Because because the the way the way the, the from what I've been reading is the way the Constitution was wrote was written sorry or the Second Amendment was the right to bear arms or whatever mm-hmm. but it was it was when guns were you know single fire weapons yeah like mus- muskets yeah so you you'd sh- shoot the gun once and if you wanted to commit a mass shooting you'd have thirty people beating your fucking ass by the time you can put the next bullet in yeah and that's why the Second Amendment is so outdated because now you can pull off you can shoot a hundred people. Uh, before anybody even bats an eye. Yeah. And it's fucking psychotic. And no one should have access to guns like this. And it's just like, it's, I understand, I, I do, um, Brandon is, Brandon, our friend, is completely opposed to having guns. Okay. He's saying people shouldn't even have pistols, like in mm. their houses, which, which I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know where that lies. Because if someone breaks into the, if everyone knows that no one has pistols, right. I feel like people breaking into people's homes would be a lot scarier of situations, right? Right. Like if, if you knew I live by myself and I'm 21 years old and you're a big dude who works out every fucking day, you're going to come in and you're going to murder me with your hands. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't like you, you're not, you're going to be like, Oh, he doesn't have, he obviously doesn't have a gun. Yeah. Cause I'm he's gonna, not allowed to have one. I'm going to fucking kill this guy. Sure. So, so I don't know. I bottom line is I think there's no fucking reason to have like, there was a moment tonight. They had this woman from the NRA. They had a giant, they had everybody from the town. It would look like it was like at least 8,000 people in this CNN uh, roundtable. It was all the kids. Not a roundtable. It was a town hall. So they had, some, they had Marco Rubio from Florida, and then they had this woman from the NRA, and she had to face like 10,000 kids just bullshit at her on CNN with Jake Tapper. Oh, really? And the, the girl cuts up there, and there was this one girl, this girl with the shaved head, who was like all over Twitter because she made a really great speech. So she asked her, she said, okay, you know, what are you going to do about the assault rifles? And the woman goes, the woman was such a fucking bitch. She goes, she goes first of all, let me just say, um, I was a very politically charged teenager like yourself. And one day, you could be sitting where I'm sitting like that. And everyone just goes, boo. They just booed the fuck out of her. And the woman wouldn't answer the question. She would. She wouldn't say like get rid of the guns. It was fucking weird. Even Marco Rubio. What do you think? What do you think about gun control? I think they're going to make some changes in the I know, next but what month. Do you think they, if you were president, what do you think they should do? Just get her, get rid of the AK-47s get, and the, get the AR-15s. Of, yeah. Do you just think get rid people of should have pistols? Yeah, you should be able to have a gun because if you live in a poor area, but with, you like need a gun. But with proper clearance, there shouldn't be a. High school yeah, you should have a license, and they, you know it should be you should be, have to be over twenty one to have a gun. I I would yeah I, I would. think I would even say 
maybe a little older. I think I, you know. I listen. I'm a. I can't promote alcohol because I'm not 25. Right, but you can go to war. I can go to war, and yeah, that's that's such a big argument too. Is you can, you can, you can go to you can. Well, well what's the argument? Boy, I'd love it if you got drafted. That would be well, funny. That, that, that's the whole drinking argument. Is you, you can it. go to war, but you can't have a drink when you're 18. That's a different argument. But yeah, no, it's, it's the argument. Th- th- these are the two arguments that I've been thinking about. The one argument is that th- that you can drink when you're 21 and you can own a gun when you're 18. That blows my fucking mind. That blows my mind. Yeah. That's well, brutal. Because it, uh, uh, it makes no sense. All right, sorry. What's your the, argument? I think the argument that look, I'm a liberal person, I'm anti-gun person, but if someone wants to have a gun, that's fine. But the, the, the argument that a lot of people make is they need the, they need the AR-15 in terms of like... If the government takes over? Yeah. It's, it's bullshit. I know it's bullshit, but that's, that's their so, argument. That's we're not we're not fucking a, we're not a colony anymore. There's fucking or thousands then, of people. Or then like my my ex wife, she's she's really all about gun control and stuff. And I I keep thinking, well like well how else could you solve the problem? Like okay, if you're not going to get rid of the guns, then why like why isn't the same thing at airport securities as we have at schools? Like you, sh- it should be the same. Like the the amount of security I mean, you have at an airport, you should put it at school now. The thing is, like, <laughs> if you're not going to get rid of the guns, it's going to be like that. But that it's going to be like what? It's the security is going to be like that. But that's fucking bullshit. It shouldn't have to be like that. Well, it shouldn't have to be like that at the airport either. But it is. And we all take our shoes off. You're right. And go through that bullshit. Can I say one thing that's like maybe off topic, but I've been thinking about it. I think. Um, hear me out on your this. vlogs are lit. My vlogs are lit. Um, I think Trump. Is um is is him being president is a really good thing for the future. Oh yeah, because you think it's gonna bring out someone great. I think it's a great gonna, candidate. I think it. I think every kid right now, like growing up, is gonna be so against Trump and against his policies, and they're so involved in politics because he's such a necessary evil to have right now. Like he's, I think he's what. He's what the future needed. Sure. He, he, I think he's bringing out so many like young political activists, and I think he's like he's starting like our own revolution against him. I like what you're saying. I think you're right, but I also think that those kids they'll they'll get to be fifty and they'll they'll change. You're right. Some will, and but they won't. They won't. You know, they'll just turn into more Trumps. I don't. I don't think it's what happens. Happen. I, I can't tell you how many of my this, friends were like is, liberal right, and now they're right. like Republican. Okay, but you you grew up in a different time. This is social media. This is like this is you're constantly manipulated by your friends around you. So it's like it's what social media likes. You kind of start liking yourself. Like it's like right. If I'm on Twitter, I can't fucking go and read anything positive about Trump ever. If I'm growing up, really? Yeah. Do oh, I think there's a lot of positive. That's shit why. About that's Trump why no Twitter. fucking no kid in middle school unless they're like. You know, being hipster and they like swimming against the current, right? Like Trump, everyone hates Trump. It's because it's the popular thing to do on social media, and I think that's what's so good about it. And it's a big thing for Democrats. I, I don't know the difference between being a Democrat and Republican, really. Sure, you but, do. Uh, okay, I do. We've talked about it. But um, but I think um, I think it's a really good thing for Democrats because there's a lot of future Democrats that are like being born here from like all this bullshit that's happening and from uh-huh. all the things that Trump isn't doing to change things. Yeah. I mean, so I think that's the silver lining about having Trump as our president is he's so fucking awful that good things are going to come out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I could see that. Bad I, things have to happen for, you know, changes to be made and Trump's just one big... You think he'll make it through four years? Yeah, 100%. You do? Yes. I, dude, everybody fucking says he won't. I just, I don't see how that's possible. Like, I, I don't know. Like... Dude, think something's gonna happen. No, after after he became president, all bets were off. Like it's fucking, it's done deal. You know what it's I mean? Done, yeah. Yeah, like whatever whatever Trump says will happen because he's fucking. Think he'll get reelected? I don't know. I don't. No fucking way. He, if he gets reelected, it's it's crazy, but it'll never ever. Like let's say let's say you can't. Let's say you can run more than two times. Yeah. This is this is the only year he get reelected. Never again. I think in the next. 30 years would he ever get reelected because I think that's when kids are going to get to be old enough to start voting to vote and shit yeah so I oh, think they'll be old enough a no, lot of them will be old enough in a couple a lot, of years yeah you're right but there's still like little younger kids that are already like against Trump that can't vote for Charlie's against Trump I know that my daughter How my nine she? year old she's nine she she's doesn't nine. like him she doesn't like Trump no she's leading the charge at her school but none of them can vote bummer but it's is, a bummer is it is it doing anything 
Well, they um, they're talking about having a second recess. That's good. They're revolting. They should have more free time. Do you know kids are walking out of school? They're having walkouts because they don't want to get shot. The, the, uh, my teacher actually tweeted that. He said, "He said I think every kid should protest by not going to school." He just didn't want to go to work that day. <laughs> no, he's not a teacher anymore. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Killinger. Mr. Killinger. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I figured. Uh, um, and that, that's such a good idea because a, it's gonna fuck with everyone and b kids would love to do that <laughs> even if you don't care about gun control do you know what i mean yeah but they're just gonna like get punished but by the principal every, not if everybody does it not necessarily i mean no, the principal dude. i guess if every i guess i don't know and if parents get involved which i know they would get behind something like that there's gonna be a big march in washington we should go really yeah about gun control mm-hmm. all these kids are gonna march wow. like like a million like what they did for uh our, for so women in trump kids and, are like flying out to it yeah I just I don't I don't. But under- Marco Rubio. Oh, I also don't understand this. Sorry, we're on gun control for so long. Um, but I also don't understand. Like I was watching all these like um these people that voted that are pro NRA. Like all these um, uh, congressmen sure. and women that are pro NRA, <laughs> and they show how much money they each get from the NRA. Nah. And like it'll show. I'm making up a name. I'm I'm making up a complete name. Uh, Nancy Grace uh, received two thousand dollars from the NRA last year. Right. Like, what the fuck are you doing for $2,000? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You shouldn't yeah. be lifting a fucking finger for two grand. <laughs> $2,000? You're voting, you're voting for fucking guns to be everywhere. What are you fucking out of your mind? That's it? That was the, the, the dollar amount? She made $2,000 <laughs> for vo- voting pro guns. What a dumb bitch. What, 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 I mean, I don't, listen. I, I like money as the next guy, but I wouldn't fucking vote pro guns. Or take their money and then don't vote. That's what I would do. I, it's fucking beyond me. <laughs> I always thought it was like hundreds of millions of dollars these guys were getting to vote uh, pro guns. But they were getting, they're getting paid to – like the most that anybody's getting paid is like – I mean, actually, I'm making this up. But like the highest I saw was like 40 grand. Really? Like, Come on. That's Come it? on. Yeah, because I can't imagine the NRA has that much money. It's fucking bullshit. Reg- okay, anyway, what you can take from this discussion is um, Trump sucks, but don't worry. Um, there's there's sunshine coming up on the horizon. And you know why there's, yeah, we got why people, there's sunshine why? coming up on why the horizon? Why is that? Why? Because if you're hiring, oh. posting your position to job sites and waiting and waiting 